hello guys in this video i'll show you how to measure the speed of a wheel how to measure its rpm and convert it into kilometer per hour and display it using a speedometer on your laptop the softwares i'm using is arduino and processing now let's start okay i'll start with a small basic information about the hall effect sensor the hall effect sensor is a three terminal device and it has a positive 5 volt and a negative ground and the signal pin is connected to the second pin of my Arduino board as shown in this picture. The resistor is a pull up resistor so hall effect sensor are of two types one is latching and another is non latching. The non latching will give you high by default and whenever a magnet crosses over it it will give you a low. The one we are using here is also a non latching type. I will turn on the camera to show the arrangement over here. sorry about that okay now there's a magnet behind this insulation tape as you can see and the hall effect sensor is placed on the path where this magnet crosses over it the hall effect sensor has a pull up resistor in it this is a the one that I'm showing over here is the same arrangement as you can see there is a pull up resistor inside it I have used a small dot board to connect the pull up resistor to it and has made it compact now I'll, I'll upload a small program and uh, show you the working of this hall effect sensor. Now this program over here will toggle the LED light, the default LED light present on the Arduino board whenever the hall effect sensor crosses, whenever the hall effect sensor detects the magnet. So the program over here calls an interrupt. So this line over here attach interrupt is called every time whenever the magnet crosses over the hall effect sensor. So every time the magnet crosses this function, the function called test is called and the function test toggles the value of LED light. So let's upload this code and check how it is working. Okay, the code is uploaded and I have a magnet in my hand. I'll just show it to you. This magnet has north pole over here and south pole over here. As you can see, whenever I bring the magnet over here, whenever I bring the magnet over here, you can see the LED light that goes up. Yeah, whenever I bring the magnet close to the sensor, the LED light glows up. But if I reverse the polarity of the magnet and bring it close, the LED doesn't glow. So the Hall effect sensor checks for North Pole on one side and South Pole on one side. For example, this side detects only South Pole of the magnet. When I bring the North Pole, it doesn't get detected. Now this is the main program. This program will measure the RPM and also convert it into velocity and send it to the processing software where it will be displayed using a speedometer. Now let me explain the segment that is present inside the interrupt function because these are the main lines and later I will explain these lines. So coming into the interrupt function, I will be measuring the value of the RPM. I will be measuring the RPM for every two rotations because If I measure for a single rotation, for example, if the magnet is present over here, for a single rotation, the time taken for this magnet to reach this Hall effect sensor will be very, very less. So what I'm doing is I'll initialize a variable called rotation and make it to zero. And I'll measure the RPM only when the rotation is greater than two. That is whenever the wheel turns for twice, whenever the wheel turns, makes two rotations, I'll be measuring the RPM. So now RPM is equal to thousand divided by time taken into 60. Why is this? What is this line? I'll measure first what is the time taken. So time taken is millisecond minus previous time. As most of us know, millisecond is a function which will be called as soon as the Arduino board is powered on. And people say it can measure up to 50 days. I have never tried it though. So milliseconds minus the previous time will give you the time taken for the wheel. That is the time taken for the magnet to reach the Hall effect sensor. So one complete rotation will be time taken in milliseconds. So what is this previous time? This previous time will be made as the milliseconds value. So whenever we calculate the time taken, it will always be the time taken for the magnet to come back to this position that is near the Hall effect sensor. Now what is this thousand divided by time taken? For that I'll use, okay now what is thousand divided by time taken? So for one complete rotation, it is time taken amount of milliseconds. So RPS, we'll calculate, calculate RPS for now. So RPS is number of rotations per second. So per second is denoted by 1000 milliseconds and we want the number of rotations. How will we find the number of rotations over here? It is very simple. X is equal to 1000 divided by time taken. 
So now we have found the RPS and if you multiply it by 60, if you multiply it by 60, then we get RPM. So that's the reason why I have done RPM is equal to 1000 divided by time taken into 60. Now velocity, velocity is equal to radius into RPM into 0 0.37699. This will give you the value of kilometer per hour. So it converts RPM into kilometer per hour. What is this 0 0.035? It is the radius of your wheel. For example, for me, this wheel, this wheel has a radius of 0 0.035 meters and it depends upon your project the value of 0 0.035 will change and this 0 0.37699 is a constant one now for this project purpose i have made a duplicate value of 0 0.35 so that whenever i use this uh, use whenever i measure the speed and represent it in the speedometer there will be some decent speed changes because 0 0.035 will not be more than one kilometer per hour now I love okay now as I said earlier we'll be using processing to demonstrate the speed using a cool animation over here so this thing over here will give you the speed and this is a graph over here this graph will record the will plot the speed you're traveling for every five seconds now let me turn on the camera and over here you can see the value received from the Arduino board and uh, now everything is ready I'll be using a ba two batteries so one battery is fully charged and another is slightly charged we'll be using it to differentiate the speed between the two motors and now I'm gonna power up the motor so this Hall effect sensor should be fixed properly otherwise otherwise the readings might get varied okay now anyway no problem now as you can see uh, motor is traveling it is actually not traveling for demonstration purpose I, I have used it as 0.35 as I said earlier now the speed can be measured uh, can be indicated by using a speedometer over there it is around 11 km per hour say for example and the graph over here plots the speed and uh, you can see for every 5 seconds the graph is plotted now I will change the battery so that we can measure higher speeds Yeah. So for every five seconds, for the tenth second, for the tenth second over here, as you can see, for the tenth second, the graph is plotted. For the fifteenth second, the graph is plotted. For the twentieth second, the graph will be updated. So now the speed is around eleven kilometer or something. I'll use another battery so that we can find much more variations.